everyone, welcome to Beyond the Adventurers Guild. I'm Eileen Sassanach from the forums and we're here at the Square Enix offices in London. Today we're going to talk about the reveals of the fan festival in Tokyo, your reactions of the 2.5 trailer. We have a very special guest, a lot of you will already know. We have a lot of fans that we want to introduce you to and we are going to talk to a German cosplayer. Last but not least, we've got a contest with lots of cool new prizes for you. But before we get to that, I'm going to show you around the office. So, here we are in the gaming room. Here we have a wall with a lot of merchandise, as you can see with the Moodle here, and some awards as well. And Larry in the background is taking care of it. And we also got this very big chocobo and the little chocobo baby, which were displayed at Gamescom two years ago. For everyone who was at the fan festival, you will remember that we had these on the walls for you to sign and we kept all of the panels and display them here in the office. And this is where the community team works. Hey Hering. Hello. You're going to join me later? Yes, I'm ready. Thomas over there, the ninja. And Benjamin, this is where I sit and look at this fantastic view. I promise I'm gonna go over all the reveals of the Final Fantasy XIV Fan Festival in Tokyo this time. Uh, first, there was a very amazing announcement. The new race, finally, it's out. It's the Aura. What you can see, characters with like different kinds of horns. Also, we have more artwork of the new job, Dark Knight, which everyone is super excited about because it's the new tank job. Another new job is the machinist with very interesting weapons, as you can see. And the last job we have is the astrologian, which is another brand new job, and everyone was very surprised to see that. We have new mounts as well. We've got a dragon mount. And speaking of mounts, with the collector's edition, we will get a new griffin mount. Also, we get a new helmet and a new minion. I think that's pretty exciting news from the Fan Festival in Tokyo. So, do you remember the last video we've released? The northern sky doth burn full bright upon the Worm Lord's call. The red behemoth beckoneth, and flame consumeth all. The internet went crazy, oh, Reddit, God, yes. Facebook, Twitter, the forums, everywhere. There was even one player on Facebook who said something like, I wish I wouldn't have to go on vacation on that day because I want to play 2.5. This trailer got me so excited. I mean, there's so much coming with 2.5 and 2.51. The gold salsa. Or the chocobo racing. Oh, oh God, God. Yes. I will not do anything else but chocobo racing. Yes, um, again, reactions were fantastic. Thank you guys for leaving your comments. We always appreciate them. And I think next up we have cosplay, right? Hi, Natalie. Hi, nice to see you. So tell me about your cosplay a little bit. Uh, because the character I play in the game is also a paladin, so of course I wanted to do my favorite paladin costume. Everything is handmade, so we were a group of people. We were actually four cosplayers who did Realm Reborn cosplay and we made the costume together. So it took about 500 hours to complete everything from the armor to the weapons. So what kind of materials did you use? Uh, for the um, armor, we mostly used a foam rubber, PVC panel, and a lot of um, hot glue. <laughs> we also use a lot of expanding foam for the weapons, so they're not as heavy as they look, they're pretty light. Do you have any tips for other people that would like to cosplay? Yeah, of course. So I think that the costumes in Final Fantasy are really detailed, so it's really good if you have a lot of pictures and a lot of material, so like uh, videos where you can see how the costume looks in detail. It really helps us a lot. Great, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> See you. See you, bye bye. This is Rossi. She kidnapped Eileen and took over her place. And since she's already here, I thought I might ask her some questions. So, Rossi, actually, um, you've been with us during the fan festival, haven't you? Yes, I was. I was looking after the cosplay registration, which was amazing. 
and I had the chance to look at all the cosplayers who registered for the competition as well as almost all of the cosplayers in the FanFest. You can talk about that because you're a cosplayer as well, aren't you? Thank you, yes, yes. It, it was great fun. I finally had the chance to wear my yukata on the FanFest as well for the Primals concert and it was wonderful. You have recently bonded in the game and I know that because I was invited. So how was that? Yes, I've been playing together with my boyfriend since uh, day one and we've had loads of fun in the game and it seemed only natural to use the bonding system to get the chocobo. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you like the ceremony? The ceremony was amazing. I think the most fun part was that me and my free company were on TeamSpeak while attending and doing the ceremony and everyone had so many fun comments to make during the ceremony. Thank you for being here and Thank you. maybe until the next time. Until next time. On to the fan sites. Last time we had a lot of pictures. We did indeed. This time we talk about YouTube channels. Well, uh, we started the French website for all our French players. The website is called ff14codex.fr and they have a lot of guides and information on Final Fantasy XIV. So if you speak French, go to that website. They're really amazing. Link right here. Yes. And we have a German one as well. It's Seed Movies. And um, he also is on YouTube and has a lot of guides, interesting guides or Let's Play videos. So make sure you check him out as well. Here is the link. And last but not least, we've got the contest for you, which we promised you earlier. Exactly, and we've got two very nice prizes for you. Yes, we Let's have. Both. Yeah, we get six winners in total, and all six winners will get this little brand magnet. Hmm, already on my fridge at home. Yes, and on mine. <laughs> and um, three winners will also get this amazing Final Fantasy XIV power bank. Who signed the T-shirt Sassina was wearing on episode one, Games Commendation of Beyond the Adventures Guild? One, Yoshi P. Two, the community ambassadors, or three, Husky by the Geek. And we will announce the winners with the next episode of Beyond the Adventure Skill. Right. So we're looking forward to seeing you there. Yeah, and I think that's it for this yeah. month as well. Bye-bye. So, bye. bye.